What are you doing? I'm checking whether they're ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the fruit you <clears throat> gotta smack it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Clitz? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the video today. You feel me? All right. This lady gave birth to 44 children, a world record. 44? Yep. How That's many? A That's a lot of them. How many? That's a lot of them. How many, though? <laughs> you can read the fucking title. You already said it. We're going to put that in. Yeah, that whatever, over over bro. Over 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 over. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Jeez. That's a lot of children. I don't know how this happened, uh, but we're going to see how this even was, you know, a thing. So we're going to get right into this one. I think this is by... What's I wonder the if it's by the same lady. Drew, I mean, the same uh, uh, guy. Blinsky. You know, he be traveling the world, so... Uh, I wonder if it's by the same dude. Mm, that'd be... Yeah, that'd be very interesting. I don't Somebody know. call Mari. Facts. Yes. <laughs> this lady gave birth to 44 kids before turning 40. Hey! And she raises all of them as a single mother. This is one woman's incredible journey of motherhood, but she refuses to be reduced to just that. I'm heading to Uganda to meet her and hear from her kids for what is sure to be an emotional roller coaster. I crossed the treacherous land border from Kenya to Uganda. So we just crossed the border and now we're ducked into this little shop wow. because it's pouring rain. And then hitch a ride four hours into the center of the country what? to meet my local friend who knows where to find Mama Uganda. Harriet and I are in a market in a nearby town and we're going to pick up a bunch of goods and supplies for Mama Uganda. Yeah. We got six kilos Mama of Mama Uganda. The bones are flying off and hitting me in the face. Oh, we just bought a whole thing of matoke, which is kind of like plantain. Oh, very wow. heavy. Oh. <laughs> I say tomato, Harriet says tomato, and that's because <laughs> they have British English here, right? Yeah, we speak British English. We say tomato. That's crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm checking whether they're ready. Yeah. <laughs> All the fruit and you got to smack it. And this is why y'all yeah, say what y'all say about Ross. And this is why his algorithm be how it is, too. Why would I pause that? I'm smacking <clears throat> a woman's cheek. Fuck, I'm pausing for it. Y'all well, just you didn't pausing say, for anything. You didn't say who bro. cheeks. All right, bro. Come on. Well, there, ain't, there ain't no question about it over here. <laughs> Niggas be pausing anything. Uganda, it's super fresh because it's close to the equator and it's really tropical and humid outside. This has got to weigh like 30 pounds. Everywhere you go in Uganda, there's kids that come up to you and smile. Hello. <laughs> this little shop is perfect. It has everything we want to buy from Mama Uganda. Salt, sugar, flour, cooking oil, beans. I'm excited to bring it all to her and meet the kids. Oh, you see how they got to go grow this? That's they Costco. we got about a two and a half mm -hmm. hour journey to reach Mama Uganda, starting now. We are three people close on one motorcycle? Mama Uganda's village. There's a school right in front of us. We're going to head in and see if anyone knows her or where she lives. The reason why Uganda is so significant in this story is because Uganda is actually the youngest country in the world. More than 50% of all people in Uganda are under the age of 18. Whoa! Damn. She got a good percentage of it. Mama Uganda is just a lady who takes care of the younger children. She produced many kids, more than 42. She takes care of those children, giving them food, health, medical. <laughs> She's a hero. How? Right. We have finally found Mama Uganda's house. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mama Uganda, you're a superstar. I've heard so much about you. She's never full time. <laughs> She's not yet a star. <laughs> we actually she need a whole. A lot of stuff. She's so happy for the food that you have brought for her. Actually, she, the food will take some months, like two months. 
It's surreal to think that every one of oh, these kids belongs to Mariam, also known as Mama Uganda. Her oldest are 28 and her youngest are only six. As a what? single mother in her early 40s, how on earth does she do it? For her, she did not plan her own self to get a hero, but it was God's plan that it happened just like that and she's proud of it, yeah. Having so many kids here all the time, is it difficult? Mama. Uh, the biggest struggle that she has is to complete the school fees and medical food. Sometimes they lack food. Mama Uganda's story is a sad one. Forced into marriage at 12 years old, she gave birth 16 times to quintuplets, triplets, and twins before getting abandoned by her husband to raise all 44 kids on her own while ah. working three jobs. I wanted to dig deeper and learn. That's tough. Hey, yo, bro, that's insanity, bro. That's insanity. At that at that young of an age, too? Holy. Then to band, get a bandit, and, and he able to just go and be free of all that, you know, struggle. Yeah, that's cold, bro. That is wild. Ross <clears throat> Petty for doing that? Shut up, bro. More about the reason she's so fertile, a medical condition called hyperovulation as a result of enlarged ovaries. Whoa. They told her if she doesn't give birth to those uh, kids or to those eggs, she will have those uh, fibroids. The fibroids will damage her um, uterus. Oh. Yeah, and she will not be able to survive for a long time. Oh. At what age did you have your first kid? Someone. To have first pair of twins, she... Uh -huh. Yeah, the, yeah. She got them when she was 13 years old. Your first kids were Damn. at 13, and now how many kids did you have after that? So she has uh, three, five times, five, five times, two, five times, then one is the last born. So she has 15 pair of twins. What? And how did it feel to continuously give birth so many times to so many kids? Giving birth on the first time, she was very scared because she was like, what is happening? But as it kept on coming on, she kept on moving on. Do you have any relationship with your mother at all? That since that day when her mom abandoned her when she was three days, she has never seen her oh, mom. That her father wow. is still alive. He's the one who uh, married her off when she was 12 years old. Wow. How did that happen? Because when you were 12, you probably didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> For her, she believes her father sold her because she, he was given cows, goats, and money. Wow. So it's like she was sold off. <laughs> oh, she was sold off. Yeah. Just so the father could yeah, get those. That's stuff. terrible. Yeah. If you don't Yeah, that that's is terrible, bro. That's <clears throat> crazy that that's the type of lifestyle that they live over there. I don't know if they'd still the same way, but back then, like the arrangement type deals. Yeah, like she was sold off as just for property, for financial gain. That's it. At that young age, she didn't really had no say so in that. That's fucked up. That is, bro. Jeez, man. Then for him to abandon her on top of that, like it ain't like. First of all, it's fucked up just to start off with. Then you abandon yeah, no. her. Like what? That is insane. That's that's cold. Don't mind me asking. There's one father to all the kids, right? Yeah. And why is he not here helping raise the kids? The main One father reason actually why the man abandoned her because that she produced a lot. So he, but they're his kids though. Yeah. So he, he just <laughs> didn't want. Produce a lot, so he has another wife, and the other one produces one. Yet for her, yeah, but the man he gave her the kids. It was a yeah. choice too, the yeah. man. <laughs> Most men of here in Africa, they don't like taking care of their kids. They take care of them when they have grown up. Like for us ladies, they know, yeah, she's going to bring dowry at home, you know? Did he treat you well in your marriage? It's, 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 that's a, it's a different culture over there, bro. Damn. <laughs> Sniggy said, well, you make it make sense. So oh. I actively... Of having sex with you, unprotected sex, and you're actively actively giving birth, and then I keep doing it. 
And then I'm like, that's the problem. You yeah. know what? Keep getting pregnant. I see about 44. It's going to be 44 most likely. I'm a, I don't want to deal with this. But you kept doing it. And this is when she was like 12, 13. So this is years of just doing that. But then you just say, ah, ah fuck it. I don't want to do this no more. HK said it right. This is the epitome of hard times. Our problems are so little compared to this. Like, bro, just imagine you having 44 <laughs> kids with one person. And then they just get up and like, oh, I'll be back. And, and then never get come married. back. Remarry and then have another kid by the, the, the new wife. Yes. Sucks for the kids too, bro. Like facts, bro. That shit cold, bro. Marriage before he left That's you was he really was abandoned. Nice to the kids. Was he nice to you? The man was 45 years and for her she was 12 years. So obviously there was no, yeah, there's no kind of This nigga was 45? Bro. That's fucked up, bro. They need to go find him and you know what. That's <laughs> fucked up. Up, bro. Forty-five. Yeah, bro. Nah, this. She was twelve. He was forty-five. Dog, hell no, nah, fam. They literally living in like the old English days. Very much so. Like that's what boys was doing back in the day, like way back in the day. Medieval. That's wild bro like a first marriage so said, there was no good relationship so the 45 year old yeah. married the 12 year old yeah and the guy had five four other women so she was the fifth Miriam is the strongest woman I've ever met. Fact. Not only because she gave birth to 44 kids, but for everything that she has survived. Listening to her story, I feel a pit in my stomach. But seeing the way she smiles at her children and the way they all smile back, I am hopeful for a better life for this family. She yeah, actually has this whole sure. compound, almost like a school or something, that she can have with all of her kids. Mama Uganda is giving us a tour of her house. Mm. So here, young kids that sleep here, both girls and boys. This is a room for nine of her kids who sleep here. Yeah. It's kind of like hostel style. Uh, there is uh, her daughter-in-law. She's the one who sleeps here and this young little baby. So that's her, her grandchild. Oh, your grandchild. Yeah. yeah. Mama Uganda, how many grandkids do you have? <laughs> uh, she has like more than 10. <laughs> more than 10. Okay, we made it oh, to yeah, the next room. Me too. There are 12 kids that sleep over here. So between 9 and that room and 12 here, there's yeah. 21 kids already. Yeah. Welcome to the kitchen. Okay. This is the local kitchen. I thought they went to a cave. Day for all these kids. Mm. So they eat three times a day, morning, lunch, and supper. And you have no help? Uh, no, she has really? no Over here is the bathroom. You walk in here. Well, that's super one warm. Here, one yeah. here. There's a big 5,000 liter water tank right there. Damn. If this runs out, how do you get more water? We go and pump water. Would you take shower with this water? Yeah, I use this water to take shower. Is this drinking water too? Yeah, we can drink it. Also cooking food. We're having a little watermelon party over here. With all the kids. This is like one of the best watermelons. It's so sweet. You got to smack the smack in it. Yeah. <laughs> they seem to be happy. Yeah. Mami Ganda, it's good? <laughs> hey guys, just want to take a quick second and this thank is... Audible for sponsoring this video. This Audible crazy, helps create bro. solutions Very in our ever-growing world. <laughs> her children make her happy. And also watching the soaps. Even wrestling. Uh -huh. Even wrestling. Roman Reigns. Dionisino. John Cena. Wow. wow. <laughs> Even John Cena. Is no, you can't no even way. you can't even see him. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. That's all over the world. Facts. Mama Uganda's maternal instinct is evident, even towards me. While she is cooking, I get a chance to sit down with some of her older boys. What is it like to to grow up with so many 
brothers and sisters? Sometimes it's, it's bad, but we cooperate and we love each other. Are you like really close with all of your yeah, siblings? Yeah, we are so close. We are so close and we love each other. So. Do you fight That's with them? Good. Yeah. <laughs> we don't fight. We fight sometimes, as you know, brothers and sisters always quarrel sometimes. The most difficult thing, school fees is too expensive. Yeah, and for now we are too because of school fees. The mom doesn't have school fees to pay for us. How fees. much is the school fee? As me, I pay 200k. For one year? Yeah, for, not for one year. Wow. Each term. Each term. Yeah, you Semester. Got shillings. What's the best thing about having so many siblings? You can't be bored. Always, <laughs> yeah, you can't be bored when you have many brothers. What's your favorite game to play? I not play football. You like football? Yes. You play with your brothers? Yes. What do you like about your mom? She loves us. <laughs> do you love her? Yes. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to become That's an awesome. engineer. Like in US, uh, those big countries. And also, I want to tell you that I have a YouTube channel. That's awesome, man. What's the name of your so channel you so people YouTube can follow? Show. Yeah, it's called Mama Uganda and Family. Mm. Awesome, man. I think it's a great idea. You're 17. Yeah, I started YouTube when I was 26, 26. So you already have like 10, 10 years to start on me. After bonding with Mama Uganda's son, he wants to show me his gaming business, which sounds really innovative. People come here and break games. Yeah, oh, like, so you, you pretty much run like an arcade? Yeah, 500 each. Wow. So this is PlayStation 2? Yeah, this is a PlayStation. We'll be making some small money which can help our family. When I grew up, I used to always play PlayStation wow. 2. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, and it came into my mind because yeah, we, have made very, we have very many young people. He went to Kampala to buy it. And now he charges for people to play, and then he helps support with food and stuff. That's yeah. really cool. Damn. I need to pay 500 That's because I'm crazy. Playing. That's what's up. That's for two what? players. Thank Damn. you. <laughs> it's your business. I gotta, I gotta donate. I'm That's the guy on the left. Okay, let's go. That's dope. I feel like I'm a kid again playing PlayStation. <laughs> oh, dude, you're good, man. So let me click you real quick. Ah, uh, I lost. <laughs> Good game. It was pretty fun to battle against Mariam's son, even though I got my butt kicked. Now we are yeah, heading into the nearby tough. town to check out Mama Uganda's small That's business tough. and learn how she's able to afford raising her kids. I can feel the rain coming and you can hear the thunder. And it's the middle of rainy Definitely season right injustice. now, so hopefully we're going to get there in time. It's crazy when you see her walking with all of her kids. There's like so many of them behind her. If you hold hands with them. And everyone is happy, super, super happy. <laughs> Are you kind of a local celebrity? Do people know you because of, you have such a big family? Mm, yeah, everybody knows her. If you could say one message to mothers out there, how to be a better mother, what advice would you give them? All the mothers out there, you should learn how to take care of your children because a child is never a mistake. Even if a man abandons you, at least the little you have, you can share with your kids. We should probably start running because it's about... That's a, that's a powerful word, to bro. That. Amen to that, man. No excuses, bro. She is a single mom with 40 plus kids. That's all I'm going to say, bro. That's all I'm going to say. You got to make the best <laughs> of the situation. About to start pouring rain. <laughs> we are all soaking wet right now. Just trying to, ah! As they say in Africa, raining. when it rains, it pours. Woo! Definitely. I found one spot with shelter. <laughs> My Jordan! I wish no I was better. a kid again. You have no worries in the world. You just enjoy what life throws at you and fun. don't complain. So we are mm -hmm. going to where she was. The small restaurant where she operates. I have a question about healthcare. So how do you deal with if a kid gets sick? Which hospital do you go to? You know, how they get general health care. When a kid falls sick, you take them to private hospital. But doesn't it get really expensive with so many kids? Uh, most of the time, she buys the drugs and keeps them. And also, she gets local herbs and boils them. If a kid gets sick, she gives them either local herbs or the real medicine. We're just walking in the town here, and all of our kids are just scattered, running around. Like, That's this crazy. whole place is a playground. Is. So this is your restaurant? Yes. yes. We're in the back kitchen. It's pouring rain outside again. 
The kids somehow knew we were coming here and they all showed up at a restaurant. Yeah, she's cooking for other people who are coming to have morning breakfast and also lunch. What are you making? Matoke, she, she's preparing meat, chicken, fish, matoke, sweet potatoes, rice, Damn. all of the local food. How are you able to cook for other people and your own family every day? That she's a hardworking woman. After preparing food here, she will go back home and also prepare for her children. Damn. Damn. <laughs> It is just about dinner time Super here. Woman. All the kids are gathering around, <coughs> sitting next to Mom in Uganda. They've been cooking this food for the last few hours. And Hour. you can see the size of the pot is huge because he has to feed all the kids here. And this is three times a day. And look how much food is needed for each meal. And Mama Uganda has spent the last half hour dishing out everyone's food. Half She's making hour. sure all of her Damn. kids are fed. It's pretty <laughs> incredible to witness. I mean, what a scene. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner like this every single day. Mmm. This is really tasty. It's yeah, pilau. It's the original pilau comes from Uzbekistan. Did you know that? No. The first traditional pilau. rice dish. This rice is chicken. super flavorful. Different vegetables, spices, really tasty. Mama Uganda, how do you feel when you see all your kids happy and eating? That is it's very happy to see that her kids are happy. This makes me happy also. You should eat now. <laughs> After literally an hour of giving food to all of her kids, she's Damn, finally eating for herself. Hour. It is a beautiful thing to experience how kids all over the world will be kids. And I'm having a moment of gratitude for being here to tell this story. Mama Uganda is a warrior, a survivor, and a true legend. And I think it's really important to pay closer attention to African mothers and their needs. These children are the future, and I'm excited to continue watching them grow for years to come. Amazing. Uganda is a lovely country. It's a country of youth, and that's it. The youth is going to run the world soon. So that's why I came here to tell this story. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you in the next video. This is crazy, bro. Dog, this is like, crazy, bro. Hey, when I tell you, fam, like super superwoman's not even a word, bro. Dog, when I tell you, no excuse. None. No. It's like it oh. just shows you, like. What you be stressing yeah. about, what you be worrying about, the things that we really be, you know, are, are mentally stressed out about. Like, fam, it's always somebody in a worse situation. And if you notice, all of the kids, maybe I'm going to say this after, but, but nah, fuck all that. Notice how none of those kids look depressed. Mm -hmm. And here we are in America, free with all these resources and things, just an abundance of freedom and all these gadgets and toys and whatever it is, and be the most depressed, the most like, that's wild. That lets you know we're not really living life how we should be. Facts. You gotta think about that, bro. It's too many people stressing, ending themselves because of like, depression and all these things but you got people over here who you would literally look at and be feeling sorry for them mm -hmm. when actually they happier than you are yep i feel like that's wild like that's really wild and if you think i'm lying look at the facts i mean mm -hmm. bro just look at it none of them kids was sad or down all of them was smiling you could talk about how they look and all that but they at the end of the day they were smiling bro everybody was happy mm -hmm one mom and she was even laughing the whole damn time mm -hmm. i know i know moms with one kid who just be over it miserable she got 44 didn't she, the dude was h yeah. feel me that only let's not even get it started on that nigga bro you know what i'm saying but that's wild fam so i just i thank god to be able to see things like that because it just yeah. shows you what true where true happiness and peace come from when you have that it doesn't yeah. matter what you have how rich you are because sometimes the richest people are the most miserable facts facts so stop facts. chasing it so this was beautiful no nah, this was definitely dope man definitely dope let us know if y'all enjoyed this video man uh, this was a, a pretty informative one and it put things in perspective for your day to day life. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to raise 44 kids by yourself at, you know what I'm saying? At one time, you know what I'm saying? So right. Put things in perspective, you know, be thankful for what you do have because some people don't have much and they still out there living their best life. So 
That's all it is, bro. But love you guys as always, man. That's why the message is always uh, true and through from what mm-hmm. we be saying about spreading love and being loved. Be that. Live right. on that. Act upon it. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.